everyone. Welcome to Consciousness is Sexy. I'm your host, Patty Alfonso. How does it get any better than this? Today's topic. I'm actually really, really excited, and I probably say that every week about all of my topics, but today's topic is choosing beyond your current reality. I love this. I love this. I just wanted to like let that hang for a minute. <laughs> choosing beyond your current reality. So I'm going to share with you guys some tools that I love um, around this particular topic. As a lot of you know, I'm an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. So we, we'll be playing with those tools throughout the show. Um, I was pondering the energy of this show and a couple of quotes came to my awareness. One of them being one of my favorite quotes from Albert Einstein. And he says that we cannot solve problems with the same thinking used when we created them. And I absolutely love that quote. Now, to quote Gary Douglas, when you're thinking, you're stinking. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, perceiving energy, being present with energy, and really not thinking at all, but really following the energy. So I've, I've been noticing lately with some of my friends and clients and, and the people that I've been playing with, this energy of knowing that they want something different and not quite knowing what it is or how to get to it. But I think that's like the whole basis of this quote from Albert Einstein is that you cannot solve problems with the same consciousness that you are using to create them. I was having breakfast with a friend of mine today and we had a really wonderful conversation about this very thing, which I was grateful for because it was the topic for today's show. And I was asking her, like, look at, look at the energy of your life. Look at where you are right now. And she was like, yeah. Uh. And I asked her, you know, are you happy? Are you happy with your life right now? And she was like, eh. and I was like, no, no, no. Are you like happy, joyful, jump out of bed every morning, ecstatic to be alive, kind of happy? And she was like, oh no. <laughs> and she started talking to me about how she had been looking, you know, on Instagram at these different sort of profiles that people had and that she just, there was an energy there in those profiles that she really was longing for in her life, you know, travel and more excitement and more fun and more joy. And she was like, I, you know, I'd like to have that. I'd really like to have that. So for choosing beyond your current reality, it's like you look at where you are right now, where you are in your life right now. Uh, the place you live, the car you're driving, what you're creating, your job, your relationships, like really looking at sort of every area of your life, your health, your body, and really getting clear and vulnerable with that energy. Is it an energy that just lights you up in every single day? in every moment? Does it, when you look at your life, are you happy and joyful around what you're creating? And if you're not, then it's really that space of like, okay, well, what's beyond this? What is beyond this that I would like to create? And then kind of, I love my friend, my friend Manjeet has a, a, a Facebook group and she calls it shopping for your future. And I love the idea of that. I love that. So you look around, maybe at your friends, your family, I don't know if they'll have any more than, than, than what you have and if they have something that you want, but look around at your friends and your family, and coworkers, and start looking at what else is available out there that you would like for your life, something that you would like to add to your life. Um, I myself has, have started looking at people who are creating businesses beyond what I've currently created. And I'm kind of looking at those energies and saying, oh, okay, I'll have some of that. I'll have some of that. And this actually brings me to, to my next favorite quote by Nikola Tesla, which is that if you want to find the secrets of the universe, you have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So you're looking at the energy of your life now, and it's kind of like, nah. Maybe, you know, maybe some of you, it's not like that, but you're looking at the energy of your life now, you're like, eh. and then you kind of start shopping around 
for the life that you would actually like to have and the energies that you would like to have in your life. So what are those energies? More joy, more laughter, more fun, more sexualness, um, vibrant creation, elegance, ease. Look at what those energies are. And when you, when you like perceive them, someone will be like, yeah, I'll have some of that. And so one of my favorite questions, obviously, from the tools of access consciousness is when you're looking at the energy of your life now, really diving into that question, what else is possible? What else is possible here that I have never even considered? What else is possible that I have never even considered? And then allowing that question to open up the current consciousness that you have, the current thinking that you have, the current reality that you have, allowing that question to open the energy for something different, something else, something new to show up. Another thing that I have become aware of is, or noticed in my conversations with people recently, is that Sometimes people are like, oh yeah, that time in my life, that was one of the best times I ever had. <laughs> or like people will refer to their college years as the best years they had ever had. Or a certain period in their life, you know, maybe it was a certain relationship that was like the best relationship they had ever had. Or like I said, college years, or that one job that I had that allowed me to travel and do this and this and this, that was the best time I've ever had. So, so in this particular, if this, is, if this is something that you tend to do, in that situation, you, okay, that is a great time that you had. Perceive that energy. Tune into what that energy creates for you and for your body when you're thinking about that. And I use that word lightly. When you're thinking about that time in your life. And then the question to ask in that moment is, wow, how does it get any better than that? When I was talking to my friend at breakfast today, I could see, you know, when she was talking about her current life, the contraction. And then she would talk about this job that she had 10 years ago, the expansion. And then she would talk about her current life, the contraction. And then she'd talk about these things that she would like to have and do and travel and drink wine and do this and do that, expansion. So when something lights you up and is expansive for you, then that is the energy that you want to follow. And if it is a contraction for you, if it's heavy, then we got to start asking new questions like, what else is possible that I've never imagined? And how does it get any better than this? And I was playing with her with these tools and pointing out the expansion and the contraction. And it was actually a really lovely, interesting conversation. I just want to check here to see if there's any questions in the chat. Nothing yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, and so once we start asking questions and opening the energy for something new to show up, then my most favorite and important tool is choosing something different. Choosing something different. If you want to create beyond where you are today, and create beyond your current reality, then you have to start making some different choices. And this actually kind of brings me back to Albert Einstein's quote of you cannot solve problems, you cannot create something new based on the same consciousness that you use to create it. So you've got to make different choices. We ask the question that opens the energy for something new to show up, and then you got to look at what you're choosing. Another, I think, I think it was also Albert Einstein that said, choosing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result is the pure definition of insanity. So if you're making the same choices over and over and over again, and you're thinking that something is going to miraculously change, then I got some news for you. You kind of have to make some different choices. And my invitation to you today is to every day, Choose something that is at least 10% different than what you were choosing yesterday. Now, if you're anything like me, 10% <laughs> is not enough. And you want to like make choices that are at least 50% different. That's totally fine. I am the kind of person that 
in one moment is living somewhere, gets the awareness that it's no longer a contribution, that it's not creating what I desire, and I will move across the country within two weeks. I will change countries within two weeks if I get that where I am in that moment is not a contribution to what I desire to create. But my invitation to you is to make choices that are at least 10% different in shift than what you were choosing yesterday or even 10 seconds ago. Because it is your choices that is actually going to create what you desire to create. Now, some people are like, well, what's a choice? What do you mean by that? What do you mean a choice? And everything in your life is actually a choice. Getting up out of bed in the morning is a choice. Brushing your teeth is a choice. What you have for breakfast is a choice. And I know that in this reality, there is safety in comfortable choices. And a lot of us know that the magic happens outside of that comfort zone. So you've got to make different choices. And any, really, anything that you can do to interrupt a pattern that you have created in your life, any choice, like if you usually have eggs for, for breakfast, hey, have blueberry pancakes. I don't know. <laughs> Anything that you can choose that interrupts the pattern is actually going to create something different for you. So when you're looking at choosing to create a reality that is beyond your current reality, you're going to have to interrupt what you have currently been choosing. And I've, I've, I'm a big fan of pattern interrupting. Um, I've been playing with that a lot lately. And when we interrupt the patterns that we have, we can sort of step into that energy of creativity and creation and that energy that actually is this sort of, you know, chaotic energy of what else is possible? The chaotic energy of something completely different being able to show up in your life. Now, I've done a show on this before, um, this energy of chaos, because a lot of people misidentify that energy, right? And in this reality, we have defined chaos as something that is terrible and horrible and bad, and, and, but it's a misidentification. Like a lot of times, they're using the word chaos to describe something that is volatile or something that is sort of like the energy of pandemonium. But the energy of chaos is the energy of pure creation. And sometimes we have to allow ourselves to be totally out of control, which has also been sort of um, uh, defined as chaos. So we have to allow ourselves to be totally out of control in order to really create something that is different than what you currently have. Now, like I said, if you're like me, I was living in Florida for about a year and one day I just woke up and I was like, that's it. I can't do this anymore. This isn't working. It's not creating what I like. I literally chose I'm out of here. And within two weeks, I had gotten out of my lease, bought a car, packed up my stuff, hired movers, and moved across the country. So that's actually the energy of chaos and allowing yourself to follow the energy, allowing, your, allowing the universe to contribute to the choices that you're making. Any questions so far? I know we've got a few people live with us today. Thank you all for being here. If you have any questions, go ahead and type them in the chat or interrupt me. <laughs> I know I like to go on and on and on. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a quick little kind of recap, I guess. Choosing beyond your current reality. Look at where you are now. Look at the energies of the life that you have now. And if you are anything like me or anything like anyone here on this show today, <laughs> I know you guys, <laughs> then you're always looking for something different. And you're always looking to sort of up level your life and out create yourself and th do things that are different and greater and that are continuously expanding your life. So in those moments where you know things are not quite the way you would like them to be right now, 
really going into the question. What else is possible here that I have never even imagined? And how does it get any better than this? Some of my other favorite questions are, what is consciousness asking of me today? What can I contribute to consciousness and to the world? And that always opens up the energy for something totally different and totally new to show up. If you are looking back at a particular time in your life where things were, as you would say, amazing and perfect and the best time ever, that's fine. Perceive that energy, perceive what it creates for your body, and then ask, how does it get any better than that? And really invite that energy back into your life. If we're always looking at the past and not present right now, or asking questions about what we wanna create in the future, then we are literally stuck in a loop of the past. And it's okay to be aware of the past, that's part of our capacities, right? Is to have this sort of ability to perceive, know, be, and receive the past, the present, and the future, but if you get stuck in the past, then you're not gonna be creating what you desire in the future. So really getting into that question, how does it get any better than that? And really allowing that energy to enliven your body. You know, sometimes people look at the past and there's this sort of sadness and longing that shows up. And that's an interesting choice. But what if you could allow that energy to be a contribution to you today? Not cutting off that energy. Not, you know, allowing that energy to be a contraction just because it's not like that today, <laughs> but really allowing that energy to contribute to. And when you go into how does it get any better than this, then you can open the door for something even greater to show up for your future. And then choosing, choosing something different, interrupting the patterns that you are creating in your life, allowing yourself to be the energy of chaos and creation and opening the doors, allowing that energy to contribute to something different showing up. And get your bars run. <laughs> get your bars run. That is absolutely vital. I get my bars run at least two to three times a week because that clears the limitations that are locked into your brain, into your mind, into your body. And it really does open up the energy for something new to show up. Um, any questions so far, my friends? I see you all here. How does it get any better than this? <laughs> does anyone have any questions before we kind of call it an, an afternoon? How does it get any better? Awesome. No questions so far. Thank you all so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for your presence. Um, if you would like to play with me more, I do have a new program that's coming up and you can get information at pattyalfonso.sexy slash body love club. If you're looking to create something different with your body, to create something beyond um, your current reality with your body, then that is the place for you. Shelly says, no questions. Thank you. This has been awesome. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you would like to, if you're listening to this in the future, and you would like to join me live and ask your questions or whatever it is that you desire, just hang out with me for a little while, then you can register and get the details at consciousness.sexy. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Go out there, really choose something different today. Allow yourself the pleasure of choosing something different. If it's a 1% day shift, that's amazing. If it's 10%, that's fantastic. If it's 50%, then that's phenomenal. And if you allow yourself, what do you imagine what it would be like if you allowed yourself to choose something that is 90% different to what you are choosing today? I wonder what that would create, what that would create for your future, what that would create for your life, what that would create for your body. 
How does it get any better than that? Have a beautiful day, my friends. I adore you and I'll see you soon and hopefully somewhere around the globe. Bye everyone.